Today we're learning anti-grappling techniques. Now I'm a grappler, I want to close distance, control space, and then just fold someone's clothes while they're still in them. Now an extremely dangerous man by the name of Alan Baker, he's the founder of SeaTac, and he teaches our mat to muzzle class for Warrior Poet Society, is going to be teaching us some anti-grappling techniques. And so this is supposedly taking jiu-jitsu and wrestlers and shutting us down. <laughs> You'll learn I will and we're going to go right now. All right, so one of the things we're going to take a look at first, there's a lot of different elements uh, in this concept. One is guard. We lovingly call it Grand Central Guard because all roads generally lead to the guard. Your escaping side, one of the major answers that happens in the industry is go to guard. Your escaping mount, go to guard. So we'll take a look at the possibilities that come up for me against someone that is trying to put me into the guard, maybe from a side control position. All right, you've obviously done some grappling before, John, and there are many answers to escaping this position, but there are some very common ones that are high percentage answers. What is the most common move you do to escape a side control position, if I'm a cross side on you? So I'm gonna make space, I'm gonna shrimp knee in, and then I'm gonna come to guard. And put them in Grand Central Guard, right. correct. Very common one. So one of the things that we look at in anti-grappling is what does a grappler need? What elements do they need? One, they have to make space, which right. you did, and out of space you create movement. Mm -hmm. And the third thing is you generally start to build some sort of frame right. because you want to stop me from following you. Right. So I want to use those elements to my advantage. Mm -hmm. So if I'm in that cross side position and you, you do that basic move that you're looking for, you make space and you create this frame. And the, the question is, how do I use this frame to help me? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin it, and I'm just going to slide my shin right across the top of yours <laughs> like that. And I'm able to <laughs> catch that idea. That is so simple and awful. And so sometimes <laughs> this one will come too and, uh, as a knee, or they'll just try to put it in. But we also have the same option. It's just a lot worse oh, that's on terrible. that one. Yep. It's readily available, yep. even with boots on, like you have. Yeah. You still can find it relatively easy. And so a key thing is you're taking that right arm to pin it, and then you're just sitting yeah, on top. Yeah, sometimes you the... don't even need your hand because if you can see, they're actually presenting yeah. what we need here. Yeah. You know, you could almost just wing the foot over yeah. and catch it and pull up like when, when I'm doing that guard, here, go ahead and come in. So I can actually, like I'm, I'm coming up a little higher. All right. aren't I? And so, yeah, yeah, yep, you moved it. All right, bro, that sucks. And sometimes <laughs> you may miss and I may end up in a very common position, which is guard. Yeah. Right? Maybe you successfully put me into guard and I have to uh, fight from here. I, I can grapple. I start that game, but I'd prefer to keep posture and start to. Now, now, what, what, what was that? You're taking your elbow and smashing into the, into the. Yeah. Right. You know, same, same to him. I, I don't want to engage in the grappling game unless you force me to. That's yeah. one of the things we'll so, say commonly. Your, your elbow technique, it looks like you're attaching to your head and then smashing down and you're pulling from the core. Right. We, we borrow it from Keezy Fighting Method. And Keezy Fighting, okay. Correct. We call it framing. Okay. And I'm just building one unit yeah. uh, that I can protect my head and attack you at the same time. Got it. And it just involves <laughs> ringing. <laughs> Right, and what's happening is a common response. I open up. Correct. Yeah. And another common response that would be what is a common thing you do scissor here guard. as a grappler? Yeah. Is you put me into the scissor position. Yeah. But it also gives me. That's going to be a nice Charlie horse right and there. And look, we'll just and look right gonna... over here. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Same thing. It's awful. It's presented to me. It's awful. If I could present ah. this one. Okay, John. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same thing here. Now I can engage in grappling, but mm -hmm. I, you have to make me. Yeah. So I'm just going to fight yeah. unless you force me to grapple. Right. And now at that time, I need to know how to do it, yeah. but I don't necessarily choose to go there on the street. Yeah. That's the pin and pull. See, it's just presented again right there. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. You're taking all your weight, those hard bladed right. shins right here. Right there. Yeah, like you were real strategic in that you found Correct. my sensitive spot. And spots this comes up and a you're lot. able to easily right. just put that right there. Yeah, that, that violently a... pull up on the toes. That's the end of the game there, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. And, you know, uh, it's presented even escaping from mount. Yeah. 
Uh, guys, this is what's called a cold joint. There won't be any warm up of that uh, movement. It's not like gonna go, 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 go. It's, it snaps all at once. So this is something you simulate. You don't build and wait for them to tap on. You also, if you're, if you're having this done to you, you don't be too tough to tap. Of like, no, 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 once that's there and they have it in place, if they're like, tap, you're like, okay, I believe you. Right. Be done, be done. Cold joints you don't play with. So what else you got for anti-grappling? Uh, you can find the same thing from common escapes from mount. Uh, anytime they engage the feet, mm. it's there. Uh, it, sometimes if I'm trying to stay close in a grappling mode, I may miss it, but part of the study is I'm disengaging to fight. Well, let's go ahead and uh, pull them out. I'm gonna escape and you're gonna hurt me some more. Good to go? Yes, sir. All right, very good. Right there it is. Yeah. Wow, how about that? Yeah, they bring it to you. Yeah. Even sometimes, you know, this will be coming through next. It's a possibility. Yeah. There it is again. Man, how simple. <laughs> you just gave me both of them. How simple. Any types of grabs from here? <laughs> yeah. Man, a, you, you're not playing around, are you? You're not, you're not playing around. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd have a nice little wrestling contest. This is a nice little here. wrestling contest. <laughs> <laughs> Get off me. Get off me. All right. Teach me something else. Oh, uh, well. We did two things. One, what about uh, somebody actually taking you down to the ground? How about, how about anti-grappling like that? The baseline is being able to deal with pummeling okay. in case I end up there. But in, in this mindset, I want to avoid it, or we will commonly say I want to make you earn it. Mm. So if you're coming into that range... Uh, what do you want? If you're coming into like a pummeling range, <laughs> right? I, I want to create the same ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in order to stop, if I'm open, you're in. Yeah. So I, I need a frame too. Yeah. So if I punch like this, you would right. You would come in. Like this might be a little harder to get around. Yeah. Because there's more surface area. Yeah. Uh, so I, I saw the underarm. With that concept, <laughs> yeah. um, I want to create framing that you have to deal with, but also strikes. Yeah. So I'm able to right, start to make you fight your way through. Alan, you're getting those crazy eyes, bro. Sorry, Back up. sir. Breathe. We're friends. We're friends. <laughs> All right. So that idea. So the same structural idea, the same framing that we mentioned earlier, accomplishes both. Creates a frame, because if I'm here, less surface area for yeah. you to engage but you have to fight your way through it. So your frame, you're attaching back here. Everything's like just coming from torso. Yeah, you just, I, I, it's hard to see what you're- manipulate according to what I need. And again, this is all information from Kesey. Yeah. Um, no, it's awful though. It becomes though. a it's living just, thing. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. It, it just looks like it's so dramatic and spaztastic. I want to be like, all right, whatever, dude. And whatever. Again, it's like you're hitting they me. They may get around it. <laughs> and gain control, mm -hmm. and at that point, you need to understand how to pummel and how to do standing grappling. It's very important, too. Right. But a lot of times, I'm going to do those moves in order to create space yeah. to go back to this, to go back to trying to deliver as much destructive force as I can yeah. to the threat. Uh, what's your go-to for single double leg kind of shots? Uh, generally, uh, it's the same idea, because it's a multi-tool. Yeah. There are other things you can add, but simple, Best way to teach someone nothing is to teach them too much, right? Yeah. That's a so good point. if that is an idea, I'll. One of the things we study is uh, all of the positions the human machine can fight in: mm -hmm. standing, squatting, a kneeling position. Yeah. Seated. I think we've mm -hmm. talked about this previously on the ground, which yeah. we just were. Mm -hmm. So if I'm comfortable delivering force out of those positions, I'm comfortable going to them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you do that move, a single, double. And I'm going to continue to do the same things here. Yeah. Right. Got it. Right. And they may get that. And then I but have to you're going to make me pay for it. Right. Um, and uh, with that, somebody's really coming through like a double leg. You only have one hit or something before you're, you're down. Yeah, but, and that's another um, reason I like frame striking. Because if it's a hit, it does its purpose, and then you might be around it. Yeah, but a frame, you're if, keeping If I it. fail at the hit, well, it's still a frame. And like I said, so I may be forced to grapple. Mm -hmm. I need that frame anyway. Got it. So if it fails as a strike, it's still a good frame in position to help me 
transition into the I next see. part, which be grappling back to a position that I can deliver destructive force or fight. <laughs> That's a little awkward. I'd love it if you guys came and hung out with Alan and trained with him. We have a mat to muzzle class in Warrior Poet Society. That's where he's really bringing together uh, martial arts, correct? Knives guns, and in anything can happen real world scenario, and he's bringing all that stuff together in our mat to muzzle class. Look for it on warriorpoetsociety.com. Appreciate you guys, and Alan, thanks so much Thank you, for uh, hurting yeah. me. You jerk. Ah.